she's a hopeless case. I call her Pocahontas, and that's an insult to Pocahontas. No, sir, no thank you. No, ma'am, perhaps ma'am. It may be Pocahontas, remember that. <laughs> and she is not big for the NRA, that I can tell you. Pocahontas is not happy. She's not happy. She's the worst. Elizabeth Warren earning that nickname after a false claim to Native American heritage. And it's not going anywhere. Her opponent in the Massachusetts Senate race is now using it. I think only a real Indian can defeat the fake Indian. MIT grad and entrepreneur Dr. Shiva Ayodore even sent Warren a DNA kit, which she returned. He tweeted, I am deeply saddened Senator Warren refused my thoughtful gift wrapped birthday gift, the 23andMe DNA test kit, most unfortunate, hashtag fake Indian. Dr. Shiva joins me now. So you're a real Indian and you're running against a so-called fake Indian. Do you think that's resonating among the folks of Massachusetts? It's resonating big time and it's resonating across all demographics, Jesse, not only you know, everyday people but also people who you'd think would not find it funny, you know, the so-called educated elite. Mm -hmm. They also can't stop cracking up. They're laughing about this in Cambridge, is that true? They are. And I think <laughs> the reason is, you know, there's a famous philosopher said when someone laughs at a joke, it's hitting something very deep in the unconscious. Mm -hmm. and what it's really hitting is this hypocrisy that Elizabeth Warren is about. Right, because what she did is that was she tried to get a, a teaching gig at Harvard, and on her application she said she was a minority. Um, I mean, I'm looking at her here. She's blonde hair, maybe blue eyes, very pale skin. She claimed she was Native American, and that's what kind of got her the gig in Harvard. And real Native Americans who may have gotten that teaching position were shut out. Exactly. So what you see is someone uh, wanting to cut in line, mm -hmm. you know, and the, and the same policy that she does, right, saying that immigrants can cut in line. Mm -hmm. I know you were talking earlier, you know, my parents came here. They were some of the best parts, uh, you know, best uh, part of India that was allowed into America. I uh, had to wait about a year with my mom mm -hmm. and my dad came first. So we had to wait in line. Right. But Elizabeth Warren believes that she doesn't need to wait in line so she can cut ahead and she frankly took another probably qualified person's job. And you wanted to come on here and reveal the results of your DNA test. Yeah. And we're going to show the results to the audience right here. Dr. Shiva's DNA results. Wow, look at that. 0.1% Native American. <laughs> You're actually more Native American than Elizabeth Warren. I'm a little feather and a lot of dot, if you want to put it that way. You know, so I'm a real, real Indian okay. against a fake Indian. All right. Well, uh, she's not going to probably take your DNA test, but we have the results there so everybody can make up their mind. Now, she's kind of a hypocrite in a number of other ways. You know, she's bashing Wall Street, but she's out there on the vineyard raising money by Wall Street executives. She's, you know, flip-flopped on single payer. She's always talking about police brutality. She never wants to talk about the violence on the South Side. This is not just lying about your heritage. It's, you know, a whole host of other things she's hypocritical about. Yeah, I mean, what you have is your person, when we say fake Indian, it also goes at something deeper, Jesse. She's a fake fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, she talks about fighting for the small guys, but she's actually helped big banks. She's actually That's destroyed right. 1,200 community banks. Well, she talks about helping small business, but she's actually destroyed uh, a lot of small businesses. Well, you're gonna, if you get the nomination, you're going to have to debate her, and that's going to be I a very wait. interesting showdown. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jesse.